Well hello again and uh, welcome. I'm taking the opportunity of updating the part three of this uh, series which covered the G5RV. Um, quite clearly there are some hams that don't uh, or are not familiar with the G5RV and I compounded that by not showing a diagram of the um, subsequent modifications of the G5RV which made it popular really because um, as I said in the uh, original video, um, G5RV uh, designed the antenna and it shows the diagram with the uh, balance line going all the, back, all the way back to the ATU. Sometime uh, after he designed this, or his original design, um, he updated it with a version that could be used with coax cable. And there you see that uh, on this diagram I'll put up on the screen now, that he's actually shortened the balance line to a certain length and added coax cable or 75 ohm balance line. And it's that which makes the G5RV different from, say, an ordinary doublet with balance line. I don't know at what point he did this. It must have been um, in the early 50s, I guess, when he, he came up with this modification. But this is what made the antenna so popular. All of a sudden, there was an antenna which covered all the handbands, apart from 160 metres, and could be fed with coax cable. So I've, what I've done here is to show that updated version, and that is the, that is the version of the G5 RV, which is now used worldwide. And as I said before, in the next video, I'm going to cover modifications to that, how hams have tried to uh, get the VSWR down to lower levels and um, all sorts of other modifications, making it smaller, half size 5 RV. So in part four, I will cover that. But I hope now that I've um, clarified the fact that the G5 RV in popular current use has this makeup section um, and the section um, makeup line um, is determined by the velocity factor, so it can be anything from about 28 feet to about 33 or 34 feet. Um, and that is determined by the velocity factor, but that section has to be a half wavelength on 40 megahertz. So that, that makeup line down to the coax cable is a half wavelength on 40 megahertz. Work out or find out what the velocity factor is of the uh, balanced uh, line that you might use. 300 ohm ribbon, 450 level line or whatever, and then find out the velocity factor and apply that to the 40 megahertz half wave section. So there we are, that's the update. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in part four.